Hey there, gorgeous. <clears throat> my name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, Scorpio. All those who have already, thank you. If you would like a personal reading or a cord cutting, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this reading as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to enter to win a half hour face time reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Blessing. I do have a one hour FaceTime on sale for $75 as well as a 20 minute FaceTime for $25. And uh, you can find that by just going to the book now on my menu. Well, I hope everything and everybody is doing well and vibing high, Scorpio. This is the Daily Tarot. And if you work Monday through Friday, you have made it through another beautiful and blessed week. Good news, messages, phone call, and text. Someone has something to say, needing to communicate clearly and be open to listen, along with the Hierophant overall energy. Some of you have some good news coming in from a government institution or a college or uh, some kind of corporation, a corporate job perhaps, or, or messages and emails coming in that you've been waiting for, Scorp. Some of you have someone that you are in a traditional relationship with about to reach out to you with something to say. You could be in separation. They may want to clear the air with you, Scorpio. They um, want you to be open to listen. Tell me, tell me about Hierophant energy, please, Spirit, for the overall energy. Why the Hierophant? Someone may surprise you. An invitation here, Scorp. An invitation uh, for a new position. An invitation to collab with someone, perhaps. Success through luck. It's okay to take a risk. And keep an eye on key, key players. Somebody may ask you to play pool this evening. Somebody could ask you out. Really surprise you. Somebody that you are in a relationship with, but in separation. This person could possibly invite you out over the weekend um, others you have an invitation to interview or it could be at a distance though some of you are about to get a job offer at a distance from where you are now you may have to travel you may have to relocate um, some of you are thinking of taking a job that's like 45 minutes outside your city or something like this and um you don't know if you want to drive that far. Somebody here could be, uh, could have put curls in your hair today. Your hair could be done that way. The person that interviews you could have um, flat iron curls, could be a feminine energy. The person that reach out, reaches out to you could have flat iron curls. It looks to me, Scorpio, like you have been charging. Your moment will come. What died will live again. You're navigating through life's changes. You're being called to be adaptable and explore all your feelings. You may be thinking about starting some traditional therapy. You will meet a therapist that you really vibe with. That's so important. Take it from this girl who's been in therapy on and off my whole life. It's really important to vibe with your therapist. You may be thinking of reaching out to a healer or reaching out for some kind of assistance along your healing journey to help you navigate all of your feelings. You're welcome to reach out for a session and we will get a life um, path plan here going for you, Scorpio. Some of you, um, tell me about this, please. <clears throat> tell me about the good news, please. Some of you have been waiting to hear back about winning a lawsuit, your divorce settlement, a child support hearing. Um, others, you are getting ready for a hearing and you may hear from your lawyer. Patience is needed, but with that in mind, Scorp, there, there is stability and structure on the way. 
there's significant information coming to you in the next four days about either a lover or a, your career or something you've been waiting for. If you are in the discovery process with work, with a lawsuit, there's something that you may discover that's going to really make you happy. Some of you here, um, you are self-improving. This is definitely a new job. You're going to have to do a training or hone a craft where you're thinking about taking a, a certification course or doing something like this, and that is a really good idea. You may be getting your grade back for something. Some of you have to go take a test, like for your real estate license or the bar or, or something, and you're going to do very well. An Aries, an earth sign, or an air sign could be important to you. Tell me about this surprise invitation, please. Oh boy, this is from someone that's hurt you and backstabbed you, Scorpio. This is from someone that's betrayed you, point blank, period. Or some of you have went through some kind of ending and you've been sad and char charging and, and your moment is about to come because you're going to have a brand new offer to celebrate or some kind of invitation come in that will help you um, along your your journey here. There's a lot of hope. There's a lot of rejuvenation, a lot of inspiration, happiness, and, and someone's uh, uh, going to extend their arm to you to help you. You could possibly get approved on a loan or you could get approved on some housing or something like this from the government. You may get noticed that you do qualify for benefits or something. You've been a little low and down and out, and that's okay. That's what they're there for. Take whatever they can give right now. This could be an Aquarius or an air sign that reaches out with an invitation. Some of you, um, it's a lover for sure that's hurt you. They now want to heal the relationship between you all. They want you to be open to listen. Moving on over to money, the overall energy in money is manifestation and the eight of pentacles, dreams manifesting into reality. Your manifestation is close, getting more of what you want. Your manifestation power is strong. Okay, Scorpio, I claim spirit, really manifesting some things in Scorp, working hard on doing that, bringing in some new things into your physical reality. You could be manifesting a new lover for some, but for others, you're manifesting a brand new job or a brand new identity. Understand that the identity that you have created here in the, that you see in the mirror today is not who you have to be. Your, your future does not have to look like your past. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even have to resemble it. But you've got to get clear on who it is you want to be now, Scorpio. You may want to look into some self-conception work, some self-concept work, and, and really start thinking about what you want to have in the future what qualities you want to have what do you want to your your new identity to be it's it's fun to even create an alter ego like dusty 2.0 or you know something like that or going by i'm starting to go by dusty ray for my um reading name just because i think it's cute i love my name and so um i've been putting ray on a lot of my stuff so dusty ray um 2.0 0.0 is going to be A, B, C, and, and, and D, um, and that's who I'm going to work hard on becoming. You may want to have some fun with it, Scorpio, but really honing your craft, really, really um, advancing in your career. Thank you, Spirit. There's some career advancement because of you and your hard work, because of your dedication. It, it, the Eight of Pentacles is not easy to get to. You got to work hard. You got to put a lot of time, energy, and effort. You got to, you know, really um, 
put a lot of time into getting to the eight of pentacles that doesn't come easy a lot of you have put a lot of energy and effort into a business or into yourself or your career and it's going to start bearing fruit very soon you have some things coming into your physical reality um your manifestation is close tell me about this Some of you are about to manifest in a lover that does very well for their self and it's going to change your financial status in the world. But there's a lot of emotional healing being done right now. You need to release some sorrow. You need to release some pain here, Scorp. You've been holding on to a lot of pain from the past or pent up anger and emotion from a past relationship and it's slowing down your manifestation power. Um, you may have experienced a lot of loss in your life, so now you're you're automatically going to, um, you know, negativity because your brain is saying warning, warning. Anytime you feel any kind of fear or or uh, stress, and and you have to work hard on retraining your brain so you can be in a happy place, so you can have a happy, healthy life. It doesn't happen on its own. You have to work on it. We are, are the ones that decide whether we're happy or not. Nobody else, nothing else. We have the ability to be happy, feel happy and fulfilled under the worst of circumstances. Some of you need to start looking at it that way, opposed to feeling like you can't control whether or not you feel happy or, you know, or sad, um, but you can. There seems to be some issues building up. You're putting out small fires, but you're being guided now to take things slow and steady. No hasty action. When it comes to leaving a career or when it comes to starting your own gig or whatever this is, going slow, taking things step by step is where it's at. Tell me what, what these small fires are, please. Yeah, definitely really slow here, Scorp. You could have a tower moment coming when it comes to work and career. Um, there's your your you could have a very good friend or a mature, stable person give you some good advice. Um, there are trust trustworthy, reliable, reliable people around you. Um, and, and you're being called to, to spend more time with them. Nurture the relationship you have with those that are reliable, those that are trustworthy, opposed to focusing on people who are not. There may be people around you that are constantly causing drama or throwing you under the bus at work or making you feel some type of way and there actually could be some tower moment coming there. Tell me what this is. You, you may be thinking about leaving your job. Things are just really getting on your nerves. It's just one little thing after the next and you may end up deciding to give your two weeks notice on a whim. You may wanna try to think through what you're doing. Don't react off emotion. Stay emotionally balanced when it comes to your career here. The more you release stuck energy, the more you release this, um, this pain, the faster you will be able to manifest a brand new beginning or more money. You are the magician of your life. You have all the tools it takes. But as I said, something very quick and fast, you may decide King of Swords energy like to quit your job. You may go into work one, one morning and say, I am so tired of being sick and tired. Bye. I'm out. See ya. Some of you may have that overwhelming feeling to do that, but you are being called to calm yourself down first and, and be patient. Don't jump into, um, you know, making any big decisions right away either. Some of you, you may have a job offer but there's something more you need to know about it before you take the position or something like this. Make sure you're not um, making too fast of decisions and then we'll end up regretting them. A Virgo, an Aries, or a Scorpio could be important to you. 
somebody with longer dark hair and uh, dark eyes could be important to you when it comes to your money and finance. Your boss could look that way. Moving on over to love, the five of wands in reverse and anger, feeling wrong, arguments and disagreements, temper and ego clashes, and pent up anger. Oh boy. There's somebody that may reach out to you wanting to clear things up, wanting to come out of this place of fighting and tension and arguing, but Scorpio, it could ultimately end up in anger again. It could end up in you all fighting and, and bickering. If this person re reaches out that has put 10 swords in your back, beware that if you all get together, if you link up, there could be an argument or some kind of um, major blowout between you all. You seem to be, <clears throat> my throat chakra keeps feeling like it wants to like it's blocked. Some of you here, you haven't got to speak your truth. You know, this person will not listen to you. They won't respond back. You haven't got to have any conversation. And when they come on in, you have all of this anger just boiling over inside and it may end in a, a disagreement because you're going to finally speak your truth here when it comes to your love life. Tell me why five of wands in reverse. There's someone that wants to come out of a place of fighting and arguing with you. This person, you, you've had some time off from them. There's a new beginning in love coming. There, this It does have a lot of potential. This person wants to proceed forward. They seem to have made up their mind. You may live at a distance, at a small distance. Again, I was feeling something about 45 minutes to an hour. I thought it was your career, but it could be this lover. Um, you, could, you could live, you know, a bit of a distance at a bit of a distance. Be careful on going to this person's house. Make them come to your house. You don't want to get 45 minutes an hour away and then get into a beat down drag out score. Do yourself a favor and ask them to come where you are. What is the anger and, and aggression here, please, that Scorpio needs to know about today in their love life? Yeah, something's toxic. This person has took a toll on your mental health. Um, there's worry. There's frustration. It's because they uh, are slow to act and they act like they're a stone person. They're like a damn stone man or woman. They don't show their emotion well. This person's really buttoned up. Or they've never fully spoke to you about how deeply they feel for you. They've took a toll on your mental health, on your physical health. Some of you have a toxic energy cord that you may really want to work on trying to release. I just wrote a blog post about energy vampires. Um, I think it's really informational on um, how to spot one and how to disconnect from one. And you may want to um, check it out at ScorpioPriestess.com. Some of you here you feel really depressed and down and, and physically ill because you're picking up on this person's energy. You've been picking up on them and their low vibrational behavior and their low vibrational energy, Scorpio. And so it's, it's important that you come back to your own uh, energy. Tell me what they have to say, please. This person's health could be bad, their mental health, their physical health. Is it true? I heard you were dating. Please tell me it's not true. I listened to music that you shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart and bottom of the deck. No one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I've had, there's no one who compares to you. Mm, boy, that could be what this person says. Oh my goodness. Uh, some of you here, this person is, is um, really feeling flustered and, and nervous. Nervous to come in and talk. Nervous to 
tell you this because they're like a stone person. They never fully open up and it's very hard for them to do that, but they're getting their self geared up. They're getting ready, but they're still coming in here in this lack mindset with this lack mentality. They do want to open up and they may surprise the hell out of you with what they say. Most of you, a lot of you feel like, oh, same old, same old here. All right. Okay. Yep. This person's going to, I know exactly what they're going to do and exactly what they're going to say. And then they're going to, you know, fall right back off or whatever. You may be surprised that this person comes in and fully opens up to you or tells you some really deep shit on how they're feeling, Scorpio. On how depressed they are or, you know, why they've done what they've done. Just be careful to not get into a, a argument. It's, you know, don't let this person take you out your square. Don't let them mess your day up. There's clarity. You're, but they're, they're still cold. I feel they have some dominant thoughts that are really negative. They have these thoughts that um, they're not good enough, that it can't work between the two of you, that too much has happened. And then they go back to but they love you and they think of you all the time and they can still feel your energy. So it just makes them confused. The same as you, you all mirror one another. Spirit is saying now is time to stand up for yourself, your wants and your needs. You have suffered hardship. You're the one who has to be analytical and strong now. Sure, I'm going to reach my hand out like the Queen of Swords and I will uh, hear you out. But motherfucker, say the wrong word and I, I'm going to cut you. Um, and that's exactly how I feel a lot of you feel. There, There is some clarity there is some vision but there's a lot of intensity between the two of you there was something that has never been um discussed there was something that they just ran from and it just began to bubble up inside of you and i i really fear that if this person says the wrong thing you are just going to overload explode your, your patients are worn thin. You're like right here with them. Tell me what the anger is, please. <clears throat> your intuition seems to be telling you something, Scorpio. You are um, finding solutions and you're releasing yourself from this Eight of Swords mind prison. At least you're trying. You're getting out of your mind. You are, um, you know, having more fun in the community. There is a reunion that you do want this person to come home or you have the foresight of them coming home. But there's decisions that will be made on a, a based out of really sincere feelings. You, you just do not want to play games anymore is what it is. You don't want to play games with this person anymore. So they're either going to give you what you want, what you need, what you desire, what you require, or you're down the damn road. You could be moving. You could have foresight of moving. You're moving forward and you're not going to wait around for, for this person anymore. And they feel that. If some of you are not on this timeline, this is, this is, some of you are not here yet. You're going to be here. You're going to be in a place where, you know what? I don't care anymore. I just, I just want to be happy. I'm going to find relief. I'm going to find solutions, but I am not going to do this any longer. And, and that's what's making them come in with this surprise invitation. Tell me what they plan to do here. They want to work as a team with you. Okay, but they're still in a devil energy. They're still in this lack mindset. There's still some lies, possible addiction, bad behavior here, devil-like behavior, Scorpio. They're, they're trying to use their common sense. There could be another... Uh, feminine energy involved or a feminine energy like a mother, a sister, a friend that's really not good for y'all's relationship that's against you. This person could actually be in a relationship still for some of you and they're reaching out anyway because they feel you disconnecting. 
This could be a Capricorn, a lot of air here, fire, earth, and a little water. Well, they want teamwork. They, they want to um, get in this place where they're determined to get your relationship back on track, but they're not sure if too much has happened. So it will be entirely up to you. Some of you, the answer is yes, too much has happened and you're, you're moving down the road. You don't care anymore. You could even be moving right now, uh, countries or states or something like this. This person may want to see you before you do that, or maybe they're moving. I felt called to these little cards. I haven't used them in a long time. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. You instinctively know what is right for you and have the power to say no or walk away at any time period. Now I see why I was guided to them. Scorpio, you have the power, darling. You do. On your own, you know what is good for you and what isn't. Is it time to walk away? Yes, I love this person. Yes, I will always love them. But they are so low vibrational and they do nothing but really affect my mental health, my physical health. And it may be time to go. It may be time for me to actually say goodbye. Or can it be saved? It's up to you. But when you start accepting your relationship for what it is, for the situation for what it is, not what you want it to be, you will be able to start transforming. But that's that's the key. What is the truth? Not what is what is their potential or what it what do I want? I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Friday. Today's gonna be the best damn Friday we've ever had, the best damn day I have ever had. Love and light.